differentiation as the name suggests means breaking or studying the changes when two variables slightly change very very slightly change and we consider the rate of the change of one thing with respect to the other we say we are differentiating the two variables say y is function of x say it is e to the power x or whatever we say we can take fx as any value root of x for the simplicity say fx is root of 25 which is 5 now we want to calculate f at x dash say f of x plus 0.01 or whatever means what if the values of x is changing by 0.01 means we want to calculate the well square root of 25.01 what will be that value this is the meaning of differentiation means if we are changing a slight change we are producing a slight change in the value of x what will be the change in y that particular ratio is called differentiation we say change in y over change in x is called the differentiation differentiation of y with respect to x of course the changes are to be produced are very very small very very small For example let us consider one case we want to find the derivative of sin x derivative of sin x what will be that value let us consider let us try to find out this particular value first of all to calculate this value let us understand the geometrical meaning then only we can understand how to differentiate suppose there is a function like this the function has its value say at this value x equals to x1 and the value of the function is fx1 and at some value say x2 the value of the function is fx now the change in the value of function or the change in the value of y fx1 is called y1 fx2 is called fx2 is called y2 now if you want to consider the change what is needed to understand the differentiation change in y to the change in x is uh, delta y over delta x what will be that fx2 minus fx1 over change in x x2 minus x1 say change is very very small say if it is x1 is x and x2 is only x plus h where h is small zero so fx2 will become f of x plus h and fx1 will become fx over x plus h minus x will become dy by dx or delta y by dx so what we define as dy by dx as the basic meaning is limit h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x over h now let us apply this formula to calculate the certain de differentiations first let us try to find out the value of derivative of sin x sin x limit h tending to 0 sin of x plus h minus sin x over h now you must be thinking about trigonometric formula so i hope you have guessed out which formula will be applicable sin c minus sin d sin c minus sin d the formula is 2 sin c minus d by 2 into cos c plus d by 2 now let us apply this formula in this h tending to 0 we will obtain 2 sin c minus d upon 2 Minus x upon two cos x plus h plus x upon two over h. So two sine limit h tending to zero. Two sine h upon two cos x plus h upon two over h. 
multiplying by 2 dividing by 2 so that this may cancels out now applying the appropriate limit at appropriate places limit h tending to 0 means h by 2 tending to 0 sine of h by 2 over h by 2 into cos of h by 2 x plus h by 2 so that will become limit is also applied over here limit h tending to 0 this is 1 and this is only cos x so what we say that the differentiation of sin x is equals to cos x therefore differentiation of sin x equals to cos x now we will write some more things which you have to prove yourself as an assignment which you should prove differentiation of cos x is minus sin x differentiation of tan x is sec square x differentiation of sec x is sec x into tan x differentiation of cot x is minus cos x square x differentiation of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x and so on now we discuss some of the rules applicable under differentiation category so called product rule quotient rule and other some of the methods to differentiate the functions now what is called quotient rule quotient rule if that there are two functions fx and gx we have to differentiate uh, say this is your y we have to find the dy by dx in this case supposingly how to find dy by dx we keep first function as such then we differentiate second function then we add what do we add gx as such differentiation of first function we can generalize this rule as such if it were the case of hx and so on we can generalize this function as such we just keep one function differentiate the second one or if there are three functions we will keep two functions differentiate the third then other two function differentiate the second then other two differentiate the third and so on we can proceed to generalize it say for example x log x sin x is to be differentiated dy by dx will be simply x log x sin x is differentiated to cos x then log x sin x x will be differentiated to 1 plus x sin x log x will be differentiated to 1 by x so the overall answer will be x log x cos x plus log x sin x plus sin x that will be dy by dx for this particular function now let us understand by quotient rule quotient rule quotient rule of differentiation is something like that if a function y which is the quotient of two functions then dy by dx is obtained by squaring of gx as such gx is kept as such then differentiation of fx minus fx is taken as such differentiation of gx now for example let us take 10x as an example why is 10x we have to differentiate that i gave as an assignment also here is the solution by the quotient rule sin x by cos x now what will be its differentiation cos x will be square so cos square x we will keep cos x as such differentiate sin x to cos x minus we will keep sin x cos x will be differentiated to minus sin x so now that will be giving you cos square x cos square x plus sin square x over cos square x numerator becomes the most fundamental formula for trigonometry that is 1 1 by cos square x that is sec square x 
So what we conclude is that differentiation of tan x is x square x. That's what I mentioned you to prove. It was a proof for this. Now we consider some of the other rules of differentiation. One the most important one is chain rule. Now what is chain rule? Chain rule is applicable when the functions are the functions of other functions. f of g of x. Say differentiation of log of sin x. What will be the differentiation for this function? Differentiating this function would be differentiation of log sin x. First with respect to sin x. Then differentiation of sin x with respect to x. So log sin x will be differentiated to give you 1 by sin x and sin x will be differentiating to give you cos x. So that will become cos x by sin x ultimately cot x. So that will be the differentiation of this or dy by dx. Now one more example e to the power root of sin x. If we have to differentiate this, we have to differentiate it according to First we will differentiate exponential function with respect to root sin x e to the power root sin x because the differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x and then we will differentiate root sin x root sin x is 1 by 2 root sin x as the differentiation of a function in root is 1 by 2 root of the same function then we will differentiate the sin x as such sin x will be differentiated to cos x. So that will be e to the power root sin x over 2 root sin x into cos x will be the answer. The rules which have been followed in this you should write to learn also e to the power root x differentiation is e to the power root x. Uh, differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x. Differentiation of sin x is cos x. So now I hope you enjoyed this uh, learning of this uh, differentiation. The last rule to differentiate some function is by logarithmic differentiation. Say we have to differentiate x to the power sin x. How will you differentiate? When the functions are in this form one function raised to the power second function says sin x to the power cos x. How to differentiate this function? Now differentiating will become first of all we need to take log taking log on both sides taking log on both sides dy by dx first sorry log of y will become cos x log of sin x. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x applying chain rule log y will be differentiated to 1 by y then y will be differentiated to dy by dx. Then here we apply the product rule cos x we first of all keep as such then we differentiate the log sin x log sin x by chain rule first of all log 1 by sin x sin x to cos x and then log sin x cos x will be differentiated to minus sin x. Now that will be the answer for this. So now cos square x over sin x plus sorry minus sin x into log sin x. That will be the answer for 1 by y dy by dx. dy by dx will be take y at numerator to multiply sin x to the power cos x as you know this thing can be written as cot x into cos x x cos x x minus sin x into log sin x that will be the answer for this particular question. Now this concludes all the methods of differentiating a function.